Hello there, welcome to this video on proportion um, recipes um, with a focus on exam style questions. So example one then, so here's a list of ingredients for making 10 flabjacks, um, given there. Work out the amount for each um, ingredient needed to make 15 flapjacks. Well, all you're doing here is saying, well, I've got to um, keep everything in proportion. So if I double everything, that would be how many to make 20. If I half everything, that would be how many to make 5. So I'm going to use 5 flapjacks here. So if I half everything, I need 40 grams of rolled oats, 30 grams of butter, 15 um, milliliters of golden syrup, and 18 grams of light brown sugar. So that's how many for 10, that was what was given. We've just worked out what it would be for five by halving everything. So if I add those two together, it will tell me how much I need for 15. So 10 was 80, five is 40, so I'll just add those two together, add these two together, add these two together, and add these two together. So these are the amounts that I'm gonna need of each of those ingredients to work out um, how many I need for 15. Second example, so here are ingredients needed to make 12 shortcakes, so given there, Liz makes some shortcakes, she uses 25 milliliters of milk. How many shortcakes does Liz make? So all you've got to do is compare how many, um, or how many of these could I use um, in respect to this. So this is 10 milliliters of milk needed. So you've got two and a half times that, because if I do 25 divided by 10, it's 2.5. So this means that I've got two and a half lots of the milk required to make 12 shortcakes. So if I've got um, uh, enough of the other ingredients, then all I need to do is two, um, so 2.5 times by 12, 2.5 times by 12. So two lots of 12 is 24, Half of 12 is 6, so it's 30. So I've got enough for 30 shortcakes because I've got enough milk to make two and a half of these recipes and each of these recipes makes 12. Last question then. So Robert has these amounts of each of the ingredients. Work out the greatest number of shortcakes Robert can make. Well, if he's got 500 grams of sugar and he only needs 50 grams of sugar to make 12, then 500 divided by uh, 50 is 10. So the sugar would mean that he's got enough to make 10 of these recipes. So he could make 10 lots of 12, which is 120. Now, the butter, well, he's got 1,000 grams of butter. He needs 200 grams of butter. So just on the butter, he could make five of these recipes because he's got five lots of 200. The flour, well, again, it's exactly the same. You can see that's going to be 1,000 divided by 200, which is five. So he's got enough flour to make five of these recipes. And finally, the milk, well, he's got 500 grams of milk, milliliters of milk, sorry. And he needs 10 for this recipe. So he's got absolutely loads of milk and could indeed have made 50 lots of these recipes. So we want to know the greatest number of shortcakes Rob can make. Well, really, the butter and the flour restrict how many he can make because he's only got enough to make five of these recipes. So it's five recipes is the most he could make. And each recipe makes 12 shortcakes. So it's 5 times 12, which is 60. Okay, hope that's helped.